as has been pointed out by the other speakers and the letters that were read and by the sheriff himself, it's upholding the rule of law. I remember several years ago when when the sheriff and I met and talked about strategies to battle illegal immigration, and you remember this DA, he also pointed out something that we ought to remember. It's also a quality of life issue. And thank goodness that Tom is backing the sheriff, and again, we appreciate all of you taking time out of your day to come here. I also would like to just say, and you know this sheriff, there are other law enforcement folks out there that want to do what you are doing, taking the extra steps. As we know, some of them don't have the funding and the resources, and I know this man and the Dustin Inman Society members uh, are going to be out there working to get the tools in the hands of other law enforcement officers at the state and the national level. You know, if you forget one thing today, the radical open borders lobby likes to say, oh, this is not a state issue, this is not a local issue. That's a lie! That is a lie, and this man has yeah. proven it today. There are things we can do at the local level. Thank you, Sheriff. Right, what a contrast, what a contrast for this patriot, this upholder of the law, when just down the road in Atlanta, we have a disgraceful situation with Mayor Shirley Franklin and Chief Pennington that actually operate by all, by all means a sanctuary city where the police are handcuffed and cannot find out the citizenship status. So, what a contrast. Again, thank you, Sheriff. Thank you, Cobb County, for standing tall. And thank you for having me today. Thank you, Joe. Um, another gentleman would like to say a word of thanks to the Sheriff. We got nothing. Hey, they already printed the money up. We, he's selling us out. He's probably going to put the risk of him and them other politicians. Yeah, I wouldn't give you two cents for a Democrat or Republican. Yeah, I'm just independent. And my wife, and my wife, she said you wasted your vote, and now she's independent. Black, black America wouldn't even work for me. Always say why African Americans It's a crying shame. Shame. I don't see it's why they're not out here. And, and they all want to sit up on that couch listen. and drink their Pepsi Cola. No, so nobody listens. Hey, I'm, I'm going to be out here till the day I die. Well, I come out because I know it's right. I'm sick. They, they don't say anything to nobody. That's knows right. It. And we got our problem, so we need to get these people you that got, now got work at all the street. You got to crawl before you walk. Truck. But look, hey, strength in numbers. You go and tell you. We'll tell all of them. 